Thank you, Kerlock. Um, and I want to thank Minister Harris for visiting a number of schools in my area and Dunleary across um, th this year to describe to them the new apprenticeship model that's possible as an alternative to going to, to university as, as, as what has seemed like an only option for many. The feedback from students, parents, to teachers on those visits uh, and, and afterwards was really excellent and it's a really direct way to showcase the work of the department and what they're trying to do to open up third level and higher education to many people who haven't considered or had presented to them the full range of options uh, that, that were available uh, and indeed the work of the department in extending those options and making more and more suitable options for people to give them the opportunities to train in different ways. It's perfectly obvious that this, the, the university only model or the university first model or thinking about university first isn't right for everyone, has never been right for everyone, and it's important now that the department you know, has acknowledged that and stopped pretending that that is the, the, the dominant model. It has been outdated and we have to reflect everybody's different skills and everybody's different abilities and different preferences and give so many different options to people who want to train or retrain at any stage of their lives. And I think that the steps made by the department in the apprenticeship programme are really positive and they provide different structures for people of all education, um, all skills, all stages of life, all forms of training to date to develop deeper skills, deeper training or provide retraining opportunities. Um, it's important I think for younger people as well as we celebrate diversity more and more that there are so many different types of diversity um, and academic diversity is important and training diversity is important and we can't simply try to streamline young people in the way that we have I think through the old CAO process to date. There's a very real potential of losing out on everybody's ability, the diversity of skills and training by, by, by having failed to provide for the different, different skills that they may have. The, um, I think in particular the opportunity with the apprenticeship, the new apprenticeship model um, is a key part of positioning the country for the skills that it needs over the next number of years. You can see clearly that the housing for all plan uh, requires a huge increase in specialised workers, plumbers, carpenters, engineers uh, to take part in building and retrofitting homes. We have the same challenge in relation to climate and to the green economy and there is an opportunity through the apprenticeship model to try to address many of those skills and to provide retraining opportunities. Uh, I'm delighted to see a specific scheme in place to incentivise employers to take on apprentices with over 5,000 employers Take, applying to the scheme that will inevitably benefit, I hope, 7,000 plus apprenticeships. apprenticeships. Um, in particular, I'd like to commend the department for their, their reference and their inclusion of the traveller community. I'm heartened to see particular reference to travellers in the action plan and to acknowledge that the, the, and, and to commend the department for their engagement with Pavi Point, who persistently highlighted the barriers that travellers in particular face to accessing apprenticeships and to people um, who have experienced by other, other socio-economically socio disadvantaged groups, but particularly commonly experienced by travellers, issues of generational employment, lack of education, but access to apprenticeships and I commend the department for setting aside um, a certain number of apprenticeships specifically for the traveller community. I know that that was a key, quest, a, a key request of Pavi Point and I'm so glad to see the department recognise that. Uh, the, you know, it's important to recognise that only 13% of, of um, Traveller, of female travellers complete second education and only 57% complete primary education. And as Pavi Point have consistently highlighted the practical apprenticeship model as a key part of the education programme and the opportunity programme that they believe is important for providing equality of opportunity for people from the traveller community. And I, I, I really commend the department and hope that as the programme continues, that there will be oversight to make sure that those opportunities are being realised and being provided and not being closed out in any way by any employer. So I hope. That that, that that would not be so. Um, I also want to just acknowledge the department's work in relation to gender in apprenticeships now, noting that you, you know only 5% of the apprenticeship population is female, and I um, you know, welcome the acknowledgement of that because, of course, the apprenticeship model you know, is, is suitable for everybody, and particularly targeting girls and young girls and, and women into apprenticeships is, again, a measure of employment activation and retraining opportunities for so many of them at different stages of their careers. Thank you.